Hi there. So I wanted to make a follow-on to my, midi my video the other day about musings from a mad woman because I got some really interesting emails from many people, lots of comments, lots of thoughts, and I really appreciate them and hope they continue to come. One of my commitments to this work that I'm doing is that it's always and only about me. Not me, Kelly. Not me, the story of Kelly. Not the doership of Kelly. But the appearance of Kelly, the apparent Kelly. I can't project what you may think or feel. I can only share from a truth that is my own and yet realize that none of that may be true. As all of this is an illusion and a hologram, what I'm sharing, as soon as it leaves my mouth, is a lie. It's gone. It's not real. It's past, and past does not exist. There's no sadness here. There's no suffering here in the space. There's this emptiness. And even that word doesn't really articulate it well because there's a conditioned belief that being empty is something that's not to be had or to be wanted or desired. A recognition that there is no doership, that this is all pre-written, that the soul maps this out before it incarnates here and that I am truly here as the angel said to me to breathe and not resist when we really connect with that knowing an anger may arise for 44 years there was this thought that there was someone here that needed to do something. When things arise like health matters or financial matters or relationship matters, instantly the doership steps in and wants to do something. There's this belief or this conditioned thought that there's something to be done. My sharings are raw, they're real, they're candid, they're expressions of this apparent story of Kelly. I ask you to challenge yourself in this. When you watch these, what's coming up for you? If there's something in you that thinks you need to fix something for the apparent story of Kelly, there's something in you that says, oh, there's something wrong for her, Recognize you're projecting something from you. There's no sadness here. There's no happiness. There's no regret. There's no expectation. Certainly those arise in the experience, but in this space right now, in making this video, none of that is here. There's simply this space of openness, acceptance, even trust feels like a far-reached word because trust says there's something to happen, even hope sounds like a word reaching for something that's not here in this space. In the last few months, there's been a lot of inquiry going on in the apparent story of Kelly. Entering a new love relationship has certainly stirred all of the edges and layers of things that hadn't been touched in this experience. And since my near-death experience, truly, much has shifted, but there were areas that had not even been reached, that are now being reached. There's no one doing it. 
It's just happening. In these experiences, I will continue to share openly. This is not any attempt to get some apparent story of you out there to know me. That's the important thing to recognize here. If I truly live by these three very, very pearl, pearls of wisdom, then I mean what I'm saying here. The apparent story of Kelly is saying here. What anyone else thinks about me or the apparent story of me is none of my business. What I think about other, the apparent story of other people is none of my business. What I think about me is also none of my business. When I start to be actively in some of that stuff, I'm right in insanity. Which is why I love Byron Katie's work so much. The inquiry points us back to us, always. It's also why I always turn to Ho'oponopono. If I see something out there as sick or wounded or wrong, I'm suffering. It always begins and ends with me. If I heal that within me, it goes away. If I'm looking externally for it to be healed, then I will always suffer, always. As Byron Katie says, 100% of the time. What happens in this space is there is no sadness, there's no suffering, there's no depression or anxiety, there's just this uh, release into this isness of it all. Does that mean the apparent stories have all left? No, absolutely not. just simply means they don't hold the same energy or charge. They just are. They're flittering around in this experience, just like anything else. So I love each and every one of you for your blessed, blessed thoughts, concerns, inquiries into what's going on in the apparent story of Kelly. Inquiry is always about the self. It begins and it ends here, right here. So if something I share is stirring something in you emotionally, even if that emotion is, I must reach out to her, something is wrong with her, stop. Look at your mirror. Be in tune with you. Musings of a mad woman are just that, musings, sharings. They're stories, thoughts, none of which are, my, are me or who I am. I may as well have strings on my hands because I truly am a marionette in this apparent story of Kelly. And even that's perfect. The masters have it all figured out. They go up to the mountains and they meditate and they sit and they breathe and they take in the experience. And there's no desire within them to come down into the masses to change anything. Because all change begins and ends within them. To them, their projection of the world is perfection. It's why they bow their heads back and laugh. They laugh because they remember their suffering. They remember 
that that was part of their story at one time. And if they even begin to think the thought, those poor people down there, they're, in, they're out of their own business and they're right back into their insanity. The crazy thing about all this is as I sit and I speak to this camera, to this computer that goes to this place called YouTube that gets uploaded to this place called Facebook, I see the irony and the hilarity that there is no one there. There never was. And yet it's doing it. It, the body. The body pushes the keys and lifts the computer and starts the camera. And the words just begin to flow. They're just coming. If at any time in any of this, the apparent story of Kelly thinks that she is the one doing this, all of a sudden there's this dual notification that I might not do it, or I could do it, or I may choose not to do it, or I may choose to do it differently, and then all of a sudden suffering comes because there's all this thought that it shouldn't be how it is. I made many videos a while back and I never watch my videos because I just don't enjoy and I have a preference not to see how, how I sound or look. And a while back I had made a batch of videos and one night watched them all. Delete, 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 delete. I deleted every single one of them. And then the apparent story had regret for doing that. Yet there was no doer doing anything. It just did. It just was. The body opened the computer, watched the videos, had the thought, I don't like the way I look or sound, delete, delete, delete. The body then closed the computer, had the thought, I shouldn't have done that. The suffering kicked in. I shouldn't have. That was wrong. And how hilarious is that? There, we can't do this wrong. We can't do anything wrong. There's no doer. I am the equivalent of a cork floating down this river of life. If I do as the angels say and breathe and don't resist, there is this complete surrender to whatever is arising. As soon as I go into the mindset that there's something that needs to be done and I start putting my oars in the water and going against the grain of everything, swimming upstream, I am immediately in suffering and I'm so far out of my business, I'm insane. Thank you all for your comments and your thoughts. I do appreciate them and I love each and every one of you. I know many of you watch and privately message and maybe don't feel comfortable to share and that's okay. There's no one there doing anything. It's perfect how it's unfolding. But do know if you would like to ask a question and have me respond in video, I will do that. Of course, I won't use your name unless you want me to. So thank you for watching. I send you much love. As I promised the other day, I am going to try and do more of these and be more regular about them. Kisses to each and every one of you and your apparent story. With love. Till next time.